All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, so I've kind of decided I'm going to go more into uh, Frostblades. I've, I kind of enjoyed it more than I thought I would. So this actually, uh, when I was going here, this is more of like was my generic build for two-handed. I would have gone like up into this place, maybe that AoE, maybe this like physical damage and shit and some life there. Uh, and there's obviously like, some two-handed shit here. There's various two-handed shit things here. I'm still staying with Resolute Technique. I don't see a reason to get out of that, but um, the way I'm going to assign Life Wheel is I think I don't want to do that because it's slightly inefficient. I actually want to go up the center here uh, instead. And because uh, the thing where I'm going to go is I'm actually going to head more into this part of the tree. And this particularly has um, conversion to cold damage as well as an extra jewel socket for a threshold jewel I want to use. So I've kind of just decided I'm redoing this kind of slightly. So we're going to refund passive points. So we're going to get rid of all those. And I'm going to go... How much does it need? 11 more dexterity? That's okay, I'll just do this. So it may not look like a, like it makes a big difference, but believe me, it kind of does actually. Because I would have wanted to go here anyways for um, the attack speed here. Because I like attack speed. So, that's it for that. Kind of, uh, as I said, a little bit different, but not hugely different. Uh, we're also going to put this jewel over here. And we're going to put this new threshold jewel that I have. Uh, and that's the one that you get from the quest reward. Uh, that was earlier, I didn't take it, but now I have it. So, uh, it, basically I penetrate 50% cold resistance and stuff like that. I can have two of these, though. Uh, that's the important part. Um... So basically I have to have a certain amount of dexterity here. So the second one I'm going to have is probably going to be uh, somewhere up here. Because I'm probably just going to get this jewel socket and be done with it. Um, and that's pretty much how that's going to go. So, I, as I said, I kind of like this more than I thought I did. I don't think I have a cold themed... Uh, um, I don't think I have Micro a cold transaction? Theme. Yeah. I have Azure. I have a lightning one. <laughs> I know I won the cold themed microtransaction set a couple leagues ago, so... I got all of that. Oh, oh, you fucking, fucking sellout. Oh yeah, you know it, bitch. Dude, it's not my fault I was really good at racing for the, the little bit of time I did it. It's not my fault I was really good at racing, says Pat. Of course it's your fault. I'm gonna take some of these uh, flasks and see if I can sell them to... Uh... <laughs> are, are you being sarcastic to me, you little piece of shit? I am always sarcastic to you. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't think I can turn it off, to be honest. No, not at this point, no. I, I don't know how to not be sarcastic. Alright, so, uh, some other things that we're gonna do. So I just got myself another, um... Maybe we don't need this crap. What let's, a lovely let's just sell day. some of this crap here. Because I actually didn't get... Why can't I fucking sell anything? It's just shit. Alright. I think I'm lagging, actually, slightly. Actually, this is actually not a bad pair of boots. It just... I need dexterity, actually. Fuck. We're Peronis. So <laughs> <laughs> These boots are actually kind of... I mean, I, I don't have the slots for it. Actually, you said you were rolling boots, right? E yes. Did you already roll them? Uh, yes, I got me a decent-ish pair of boots. They're not great, but they have resist, and that's... Yeah, no. Okay, um, I don't want that. I, 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 got, I, I had to get resist on my boots. I was literally all negatives. Oh, okay. I, I had been giving you all the gear so far, since you were kind what? of always in the front. How, how was I giving... What the fuck? How are you giving Dude, me all the I gear? I had white rings, alright? Let me just say that. But do you have a problem against whites? All of a sudden? White I'm, items I'm are... Touch, I'm not touching that. White just items are just, just as nice. Alright, so we're gonna okay, use this... Um, we're gonna use this fucking glassware bobble on this guy. So we have now a 20% Quicksilver Flask. And now I can actually roll that, so we get charge recovery. And this is a poison resistance. I don't really know what I want for my first flask, I won't lie. But now we have a really nice flask just for that, so that's kind of good. Uh, I also have another hallowed flask, but I'll give that to Pat when I'm, uh, when I'm with him over there. All right. But I'm right over here. Let's go, let's go back and then Pat can tell us the joke that he's fucking trying to tell us for like an hour. Yeah, I know, right? All right. Well, there's appears to be no uh, appears to be no water here at all. Well, it's it's a ridge, Mike. You're you're we're higher up on the mountains. Higher on the street. Da, 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 da. Earn, Mike. You want to rest by the bonfire real quick? Sure. Uh, this is a Dark Souls thing. 
Yeah, it's a Dark Souls joke. Oh, I see. Funny guys. Take the uh, hollow. Uh, take, take a life flask if you need it. No, I'm already using hollows. Okay. Sleep but thank you, though, for thinking of me for once. I mean, I, I picked up a bunch and then I just kind of started using them. <laughs> okay, that's really fun to watch you do, by the way. It's fun to fucking do, trust me. I don't know if I'll like it, Pat. Pat, I didn't know if I'd like it. I know. You know what? If you keep doing this, I'm gonna stop using it just because you're fucking being a piece of shit and saying. Uh, I, I, I know, I know. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> it was a great run, and you can't crit. That's I mean, I, depressing. I, I, don't, I don't care. Does it? Does it really gonna increase my damage at all? Yes, crits. It'll give you like 150 percent increased damage. Oh man, I'll maybe one shot them instead of one shotting them. Okay, n now who's being a sarcastic ass? <laughs> Jesus, I'm always a sarcastic ass. Yeah, and then I try to be a sarcastic ass, and you're like, Pat, I'm gonna fucking not even use it. Oh, uh, dude, it's, uh, it's Fleet Freak. Fleet Freak. I don't know, but he's fucking dead. He had a sniper bow, though. This is literally the Dark Souls zone. It really is, though. The Dark Souls zone. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can, you can tell that, that they had a lot of inspiration here. I, I haven't played a lot through Dark Souls, though. Literally, literally, all you need to know is that these skeleton wheels is a Dark Souls meme. That's really all it is. Skeleton wheels. They yeah, actually, pretty they much. Actually, they actually have the story of their origin. Actually, how many side area? No, there's no side area here, so I'm just kind of... What do you mean the story of their origin? I mean, oh, actually we learned that in, in the other act anyways. Yeah, like that, how there's like yeah. giant wheels with skeletons on them. Yeah, that they hang the people on and then they were just like, you know, all sorts of really weird shit. I should get myself uh, weapon elemental damage, but I'll do that later. It's all good. Oh man. Can officially run three auras at the same time. Oh boy, what auras are you gonna run? I'm gonna be well. I'm in uh, about three levels. I'm gonna be running haste, hatred as well. So you know, if you're running four, I have a I have an interesting question for you. Uh, why why would I do headsbend now with uh, with my ascendancy? Yeah, uh, that's a really good question. If you're gonna be using swords, there's really not many many reasons to do it. I mean, what would I do like? Damaging hits always stun enemies on full life. No, no, that's kind of garbage. I mean, an area of effect doesn't work with me. No, it does. It really does. Like that's the thing. It doesn't really work that great for you. That ability for your class. Uh, yeah, but there's really nothing better actually. Kind of just the way it goes sometimes, I guess. Uh, where the fuck do we go? Okay, done uh... there. Fine. You need I... to go dip back down. Nice dead ends. Hey, you're the one that you're the one that's leading. Well, I was going away from the waypoint. Hey, look, the place that you went to was bad. Well, well no, I, I told you we have to go back down. Look, we're we're t continuing to go down. I was right. You might be right. Raider may have been the best uh, choice for uh, Frostblade's build, but you know what? I still wanted to do like a a build where I did generic two-handed. All right, and you—you you know what? You still may go back to something. You never know. We can always reroll. Oh, again. Hello, Tora. I would love to go to your defiled den. Yeah, I'd rather go to her dank den, to be honest. The thing is, I, I still would say Duelist is, is actually just a wonderful like first starting build, just because it's like a you it's know, generic. I mean, it's not that it's generic. It's just like it. Um. Uh, it it opens you up to try things that you wouldn't like. It's like granted, it, maybe this could have been done better as another class, but the leeching and the um, the leeching that I get and all the other crap that I get is like, and and the, the fact I I call bosses at twenty percent, it's huge boom, absolutely huge. So you know what it sounds like to me, Mike? It sounds like the Scion would have been the better class. I, actually, it wouldn't have, but because you don't get the call at all. There they see they're on the wheels, the skeletons. Yeah. All right, lower prison. Oh, we've been in this place before. Yeah, we, we're coming in from the top though this time, but somehow still going to the lower prison. And for some reason, the other way is uh, locked now. I think I know where to go next, Pat. Do you? I don't know. I literally saw it through the wall. Oh my god! It's a giant like carousel of skeletons. They're the best. 
Don't worry about it. Oh, did you know that I rode a carousel for the first time the other day? How do you only ride, ride a carousel for the first time? Did you know that they're also awful? They're boring as shit. Yeah, they kind of are. Just, just, th just throwing that out there. I reminded myself of that. Fuck, I, I see a labyrinth through the wall too. Like, how, how fucking far do we have to go for this shit? We've got to go everywhere, Mike. There's like nothing here though, and it's 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 bothering me. I need the level. I need to get my XP's. Actually, what level are we? No, we're like level above this area, anyways. But I still want to level up. Oh, too bad. All right, here we go. Final sentence. It's ironically exactly the same as before. Yeah, it's a little. It's actually a little odd, isn't it? What the, I am fucking stuck here. <laughs> Oops, I got hit. Fuck. Let's go through. Oh, here's Mike Glad to clean up after fucking Pat's fucking shitty build. Hey, hey. I'm, I'm the magic card build, all right? It'll be good. It'll be good, I promise. I still like a lot of what what Slayer has to offer me. Is the strongest as I said, the, the only thing the only thing I can really say is like it. This can be done as as uh, Ranger. This this exact build that I'm doing, um, and it can be done with probably maybe a bit more damage. I think it's done better as a different class. Uh, I mean, blade. it's very very close. I would say I would say it's close. Eh. It's not straight up better, but you don't get the leech. It's just different, and I still think maybe like as I said, for someone who doesn't play the game a lot, I think I still think maybe it's better to do it as, as Slayer. I'm 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 actually really glad I did start as Slayer to show off like the best way of kind of learning the game, you know. I'm just trying stuff out, basically. Yeah. Who knows? I may I may reroll a, a ranger after uh, at the end of the. Uh, after at the end of the playthrough, you know, that's that's the thing about Path of Exile, you know, you can never do just one build. You gotta have one more build. Says the guy that already has eight builds. The thing you guys are gonna really like about this one is gonna be the leeching. The leeching's gonna be insane. It really is though. That is, that is probably the best part. Are you getting are you getting like the leech nodes from the tree? Oh uh, yeah, that's gonna be the plan. I can't do this just yet. Actually, is that is that one node? Is that attack damage or? Yeah, it's physical attack leech. I see. Okay, I'm getting yeah, attacked. That's a... No, that's that's the jewel you gave me before. Right. So, so by the way, guys, the reason why that's a problem is I have a uh, sixty percent conversion to uh, uh, elemental damage. Uh, what, what's it say on it? On the actual skill? Yeah, sixty percent conversion, and then we're uh, eventually I'm gonna get the other forty percent conversion. Uh, then I'm not going to deal any physical damage anymore, technically. <laughs> the, the way the game kind of works is weird. You can attach physical melee damage to this because the conversion happens after that, but the leech happens at, uh, when your damage is already converted. So, oh, uh, Regal Orb. Upgrade oh, the magic man. item to a rare item. I think we've seen that one before. I, I'm not sure if we have. At least I haven't, I think. Not in this playthrough. Oh, portal scrolls. No, no. Oh. No, you're blocking me. <laughs> you stop dropping my inputs. Oh, sorry. My bad. Playing with such oh. latency. Oh, with, with my 16 ping, I'm sorry. Your 16 ping. I know. I, I, there's just no way I can play with such high ping. <laughs> Do you like live beside the USB server? You must. <laughs> I re I really have to. Like I, it's, I, it's got to be just up the road. Mine's like forty. I mean, that's really not that bad. Though. Like I, that's the thing, though. I've never had really high ping, so I I don't, I don't really know. You've never had high ping. I mean, like, are you gonna get this shrine or not? There we go. 
I didn't even see it there, to be honest. Hit hard, hit once. It's, it's like a physical damage run, and you're just like dancing around it, not getting it. It's just like, dude, come on. Maybe, maybe I want to challenge myself. Tuh! I'm <laughs> like knocking back on swing. Okay, maybe I don't want to be in that. Actually, why am I standing near you? Oh my god. <laughs> I just made it worse. Yeah, yes you did. Oh man, I love these sacrifices at dusks. I don't even know why we kept getting them. We're getting very unlucky. I, I, I want some ball abilities, damn it. Like, good ball abilities. Oh, there. Not ball. that. <laughs> you have the ability to corrupt anything you want. Get smart with me, Mike. Not good for you. Ah, uh, there's a Harbinger over there. Uh, Fuck. or where? Uh, whatever, I don't care. Holy shit. Holy shit. He started killing everything and that was giving them charges and they blew up on my face. God, I have to kill fast. Oh my. Alright. I'm just gonna skip the Harbinger, I don't care. I'm, I, I, it requires way too much backtracking for that to be good. Uh, I don't know, it could be pretty good. Okay, fine. So if you guys didn't realize, we're actually going up a tower right now. Um, this layout in particular was actually a, a map called Tower in the endgame, and like nobody quite kind of knew what it was for. Uh, but then, like now, kind of like they've been actually working on this expansion for like where, where they remove all the uh, all the difficulty levels. They've been working on it for quite a while, and it really shows. Yeah, I mean, it caught me off guard. Like I, I didn't guess that they were, that, that's what they were gonna do. I just assumed it was like some like ver like some weird variations based upon like Act One areas just to mix up the ma the end game mapping. That's why I honestly thought it was all about. But... Nope. Right, it's, it's more life. We're probably gonna eat that entire sign life wheel just because. All right. the, the sign life brick. All right, time for prison roof tap. Not you. For my life and my work, I shall not suffer this humiliation again. Oh, Brutus now is uh is Pudge. Holy shit! He's the butcher. Oh wait, there was that two meta. <laughs> it's fucking Pudge, dude. Okay, I want that ground slam effect. That looks so cool. Ah, uh, and that Chevron came out. So she's clearly not very happy with us. Let me beautify you! And now she's like... Well, can you blame her? She's literally been alive for probably not that long, realistically. And we're already killing her again. She had it coming, if you ask me. And now she's embedding herself into Brutus. Alright, I'm just gonna tank through it. Okay, that's probably not the best idea. Yeah, no, I'm enfeebling him. It, it's fine. Oh, new amulet. And eh, it's a piece of shit. Kind of. Well, actually... I'll use it. I'll talk to him in a second. I'm trying okay. to get my mana back. There we go. Mana back before you talk to him. And so it begins. My ethereal veins now run with dark ambition. Let's turn that trickle into a torrent. Let's harvest ourselves a Grand Inquisitor. Just as Chevron's spirit chose to return to comfortable climes, Maligara's essence once again dwells in his very own chamber of sins. Though I hasten to add that Maligara's sins are not my sins. I prefer transgressions of a more natural order than does he. I'd carry you to Frisia if I could. Yet I expended too much of myself when I snatched you from the jaws of Kitava. You will need to find your own path, as will I. Make the journey, and please survive it. We too have much work left to do. Oh, and apparently not gonna... It's not gonna give us anything from that. And so it begins. Well, right. he has to use that soul to do something with the beast. Oh, I see. Have you noticed every time he eats a soul, he, like starts acting like the person he just ate. Uh, or I don't really know how to 
Maybe. like describe that. Like so, just like pay attention to his speech because after he absorbed Tukuhama, he was very aggressive and shit. And then after he absorbed Shavon, he's like very posh and using big words and confusing me. I'm looking at some of the shit here because you can actually see where kind of Brutus was created. A bunch of like tortured instruments and shit like that. Because we're back in the warden's chambers again. Again. Yeah. They've done shit yeah. here. Shabby was a little weird. I'll give her that. Shabby. Letter, letter of instruction. Dear Chevron. Oh, we've read this, I think. You have certainly had your work cut out yeah, for you. We actually, we actually read that in, actual, in, the, in the first act. Because guess what we're back at? Prisoner's Gate, motherfucker. Let's go see what everybody has to say about our killing of Brutus and Shab again. <laughs> We need to stop bringing them back, that's what they're gonna say. Who'd have thought those bleating bastards would go and find religion, eh? Now there's nothing quite so sure to spoil a man's appetite than an ecclesiastical debate come supper time. Yet this goatman god, this Eberoth, seems fair determined to mix his morsels with his spiritual enlightenments. To put no finer point on it, when the goatman find him a soft pink human or two as divine sacrifice, he eats them. Meat, soul, and all. Well, that's what the legends say. <laughs> Hello. Good work clearing another path through Axiom Prison. I'm starting to think those stories I've heard about you might be true. Oh boy, I got a helmet. I know, right? I got the fucking armor one. Yeah, I'm gonna take the armor one. With the road to the Frisian Forest clear again, I trekked through to the forests beyond to see if the strangeness we're seeing on the coast is also happening inland. What I saw nearly froze my heart solid. The animals there, poor wretches, overtaken by some sort of parasite. As close as I can reckon, they're like termites, burrowing into flesh and mind instead of wood. If I'm right, there'll be a nest somewhere. And a queen. If you can find it, destroy it. Those parasites aren't something we want to see around here anytime soon. Farewell. Alright, All right, so now we have a quest to destroy some parasites. Is that the thing from the aqueducts? I think it was. Yes, when we killed that in a thousand foot shadow, it released all those parasites, remember? Yeah, that's what I was asking. Yeah. So, the game starts being generous now. Yeah. And it starts giving us uh, uh, four lengths, basically, now. Um, I mean, this one's not, I think, particularly great, honestly, but, yeah. Yeah, but it's still a four-link. I mean, if you hadn't gotten any yet, or you needed yeah. upgrades, uh, at least if you're nice. trying to be nice. Yeah, I'm not going to use that one, though. I don't think I really need it. I'm just going to put this amulet here. The amulet I have is not much of an upgrade, but, you know, it's just, what, what are you going to do at this point? Some of my gear can probably use upgrades, but for the time being, we're probably going to go into some endurance charges and shit like that pretty soon, so. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's, let's continue a bit then. At least until uh, the prisoner's great gate a little bit. I like how many more zones this actual act has than the other one. Like, dude, you can actually see the parasites on their backs. Uh, I want to see that. Oh, I mean, these guys are just the goat. The goats apparently are smart enough not to get parasited. So go figure. Dude, goats are smoke. Uh, goats are blah, 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 blah. goats are wow. smart motherfuckers. Yeah, uh, they they really are though. Except the feigny ones. They're dumb as hell. Feigny ones. All right, here you go. All right, you can see, actually see them on the back there. Dude, right. it's it's, it's kind of creepy because did you hear him talk about how they're like burrowing into them like termites? Yeah. But they don't touch, uh, they don't touch the other guys. At all. Uh, as I said, I think the goats are smart enough the to, goat. like, not get parasited. I mean, is it a matter of intelligence? I can't do this just yet. I mean, I'm smart enough not to let things crawl on me and dig its claws inside of me and then start burrowing through my skin, creating, you know, various forms of infection and disease through my body. Okay, all right. Over here. Oh, Valley of the of the Fire Drinker, huh? 
Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Abareth. I think it's... Yeah, I don't even... I, don't, I wouldn't even begin to actually tell you how to fucking pronounce that, actually. I think it's just Abareth. Fuck. Yeah, don't let him headbutt you. That shit hurts. Alright, well. He's piecing out. Now we need to run yeah. away. Meteor Look Storm. Oh my god, I'm getting hit by everything that was meant for you! Just run run forward then. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea actually. <laughs> We're in the Valley of the Soul Drinker now though. Seems kind of upset about something. Yeah, sorry, I hadn't had a chance to end people when we got in here, my bad. He hurts when he, he hurts when he's not in people. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Dude. Yeah, that uh. And I'm, you get know, I'm out of there. him too. I want to get out of there, <laughs> dude. I'm taunting him too. Oh, okay, I got there him. We go. Thank God for that twenty percent fucking call. Let me just tell you that now. <laughs> We guy. have so much shit reducing his damage, and he's still just chunking your ass. Yeah, he doesn't fuck around. Good souls were hard enough to come by without that parched old goat drinking his fill. You have done humanity a noble service. All right, this guy was optional, but we get a uh, we can get a five percent reduced fire damage taken while moving, unaffected by burning ground. No, there. Dude, so. I'm totally activating that. Just I mean, throwing that out there. I don't know which one I really want. Dude, the other one requires you to stand stationary. I mean, this one requires you to move. But I guess not being affected by burning ground is pretty good, actually. So. That's really the only reason I'm taking it, because there's so much burning ground here now. Yeah, that's actually not bad. I mean, it's still not a great one. Also, this guy fucking hurts. Yeah, yeah. just a little bit. But that's the thing, dude. He was enfeebled, and I was taunting him. Nessa. Nessa's here. <gasps> What are you doing? God drag you to damnation if you're gonna stand by and let this happen to me, to us! Because believe me, the Brian King has far greater appetites than one nothing of a girl from Oriath. It doesn't matter what he'll do to me now, it's what he'll do to Rayclast. Yet there's hope. There's always hope. If only you can reach Mervale's cave. If only... By the way, if you zoom in, she's totally not sitting on that rock. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. And, and that's the way to the uh, ship graveyard, but now we can't get to it because for some reason there's a giant torrent of water there. Go figure. But, but Pat, didn't, didn't we open up uh, Act uh, the, the way between Act 2 and Act 1 in the, like when we did that? Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. I wonder what happened if we go that way. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, why not? Also, you do know why, like, lore-wise, she's acting so fucking crazy, right? Uh... <laughs> I mean... No? Okay. No. Basically, so do you know what the Star of Ray class is? Uh... Okay, so the Star I'm... of Ray class is the amulet that, uh, it's, it's technically the jewel that Duresso gave Mervale that turned her basically into a Splatoon character, right? Okay. So, a after we killed Mervale, Nessa's like, well shit, that must mean that jewel's out there. I'm gonna go fucking find it. So after we left, Nessa went to go find it. So obviously, if it's gonna turn Mervale into a weird squid bitch, it's gonna do something weird to her too, right? Looks like I'm carrying your ass in this fucking axe. Oh, there. okay. Cool. Okay, so yeah, she she wanted to become a squid bitch. That was her long lifelong dream. Well, no, no, that's not not necessarily. But now she's uh, cause she kept saying to like. The Brian King is going to do things to her, but to them, to us, right? Uh huh. The amulet is uh like contains like somebody's soul, and that's why they're going to be doing stuff to both of them. Uh oh, so there's black guards here. Remember the black guards we killed? And uh, welcome back to Act Two, but this actually still counts as Act Six, which is kind of cool. So we're not touching oh. the lore here, or whatever. Fuck the lore. Uh, I'm the only person that actually likes lore here. So these guys are boar acolytes. Well, there's also some stag acolytes too. Mm. Brooding tarantulas. 
So shit has definitely gone down. There's a there's a salt limp here. A what? Uh, a salt limp, yeah. Yeah. If hey, I... this is a pair of boots that might be good for you. It might be good. Uh, I mean, they don't have a life roll on them, but neither do my current boots, so. I mean, what can I really say? Oh, man. I think I, I need the dex. Oh, I don't actually need the dex on there. Yeah, I mentioned you've gone through a fair number of dex nodes by now. Yeah, you, you think that, but. I have 129 dex in total. Uh, I have more dex than you, Jesus. I mean, you're the scion. That's true. Yeah, never mind. That's true. He's trying in the middle of the tree. I, I, I kind of went to the left of my tree like immediately when I when I got out. <laughs> All right, this is a good time to end it off actually at that waypoint. So let's see if anyone wants to talk to us. Oh, best one stuck. The old goat's turned up his tootsies, has he? Oh, wait. I feel a poem coming on. <laughs> Through the bleating flock, our exile did wave. Over hoof and horn and goat blood sprayed. Until, at last, an audience with old King Billy, or the Cloven One, or Eberron, and other names just as silly. Dine with me, friend, old Billy did growl. Feed me your soul. Feed me it now. Our exile just smiled and gutted that goat so that not one more soul would get stuffed down his old throat. Honestly, you wouldn't believe how hard it is to find a good rhyme for goat exile. <laughs> there we go, nice skill point for that. Have you ever mentioned how much I hate rhymes? Yeah, well, what what does rhyme with goat, anyways? Goat, boat, float. moat, float, uh, poat. I don't know. Shit, there's a bunch of shit. This guy's just an idiot. <laughs> it's probably why you got. It's him. probably why you guys as exile. Let's be honest. Oh, that's true. <laughs> For I mean, the man's not even smart enough to find a shirt or a pair of pants that fit. For horrible rhyming, you shall be exiled to very last. I don't know. Butchering of the Engl or Oriathan language, Jesus. Yep. Alright, guys, that's all the time we got for today. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everyone. Bye. Goodbye.